It was always going to be provocative, a visit to a disputed holy site in Jerusalem by a far-right minister. In Newly the... appointed police minister Itamar Ben-Gvir visited the Temple Mount. Temple Mount is open to all. Muslims and Christians come up here, but yes, also Jews, he says. We're deeply concerned by any unilateral actions that have the potential to exacerbate. The temple ceremony has just taken place, and this is the first time that the public has been allowed to see it. This temple will serve as a place of worship for the people of God, and it will be a center of their spiritual lives. However, some say this will mark the end of the current age, and another says it will usher in the return of the Messiah. Well, whatever this means, we will examine it in this video. So make sure you watch the video to the end. According to the scripture, the Israelites are often referred to as the people of God. The Bible says that redemption will come from Israel, and some of these prophecies are already coming to pass. The Jewish people believe so much in the temple. Maybe it is a symbol of something we do not know. But the children of Israel often referred to the temple as the dwelling place of God. And it is also a common belief that without the temple, the glory of God cannot manifest just like in the days of Solomon in 2 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 14. So that the priests could not stand to minister by reason of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord had filled the house of God. This happens when the temple built by King Solomon was opened by thousands of burnt offerings. To the Jews, the temple has two primary purposes. One, to reveal to mankind the divine presence of God, which dwelt above the mercy seat of Ark of the Covenant. Exodus chapter 25 verse 22. And there I will meet with thee, and I commune with thee from above the mercy seat, from between the two cherubims which are upon the Ark of the Testimony, of all things which I will give thee in commandment unto the children of Israel. Two, to facilitate the offering of the required sacrifices, Exodus chapter 25, and let them make me a sanctuary that I might dwell among them, Exodus chapter 40 verses 34 to 35. Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation, because the cloud abode thereon, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. However, since the destruction of the second temple in the AD 70, the Jewish people can no longer offer these sacrifices. In fact, 202 out of the 613 mitzvot, that is the commandment in the Torah, cannot be completed without the temple, which makes the temple of a great importance. I believe this could be the reason for the reconstruction of the third temple. But if we ask, are there any preparations for reconstruction the third temple? Yes. Recently, there is a ceremony in Israel concerning the third temple. The preparation for building the third temple has been on for the past two decades. According to Gershon Solomon, one of the Sanhedrin said that building the third temple is an act which must be done to complete the redemption of the people of the Bible in the land of the Bible. I cannot imagine an Israeli state or Israeli life in this country without the Temple Mount in the center of this life. While majority of the Jewish people throughout the diaspora are secular, Orthodox Jews do not believe these people will play a role in rebuilding of the Temple since it is a spiritual work. The Orthodox have since then done a great job in reviving the Sanhedrin, who are the religious body that intend to see it rebuilt in a proper way. The Jewish people doesn't just see the building of the temple as just a construction or a project that needs to be done. But this is seen playing an important role in the redemption of the world, which they believe can only take place once the temple is rebuilt. Rabbi Chaim Rickman, director of the Temple Institute, who has been trying to produce all the vessel and equipment used in the temple worship long time ago before the first temple was destroyed, has clearly stated that the Shekinah is brought about only through the temple and in terms of our mission as a people, we cannot in any way teach our spiritual status without the temple. However, many religious Jews do not support the idea of rebuilding this temple, as some Jews thought of the prophecy of the third temple as something of more spiritual rather than physical building. 
for some, is about the Muslims controlling the site where the temple is to be constructed. The Muslims have argued that the land belongs to them and they have tried all their possible best to stop the building of the temple. But a British archaeologist, Robert Hamilton, who had documented excavations of the mosque's foundations after it was destroyed in an earthquake in 1927, he discovered beneath the floor of the mosque the remains of a Jewish mikveh, that is, the ritual pool used for purification. And it dated to time of the second temple when the Jews immersed at this site before entering the temple precincts. But do you think the resistance to rebuilding the third temple can become a reality? Well, a ceremony was held concerning the rebuilding of the temple which clearly state that the building can actually become a reality. Moreover, there are some arrangements that are being made to make sure that the Levitical priesthood order were restored as of the time of Aaron. The first preparation concerning the construction of the temple is the planting of the biblical temple forest. This is not just a forest, but it was planted to serve the agricultural needs of the temple. Among other things that were put in place in the construction of the third temple is the project to restore the sacred red heifer to Israel. Looking at the way the sacrifice was done in the book of Numbers. Numbers chapter 19 verses 1 through 12. This is the ordinance of the Lord hath commanded, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring thee a red heifer without spot, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke. It means that the ashes of red heifer which was burnt will be mixed with water that will be used for the purification of sin. But this red heifer is not just a heifer, it must meet some certain standard. The heifer must be born in Israel, and it has to be a heifer that has never been yoked. So Rabbi Rickman, which is also a member of the Sanhedrin, has been heading a project to restore the sacred red heifer in Israel. He and other rabbis of the Temple Institute are providing halakhic supervision and guidance in partnership with an Israeli cattleman who is an expert in the science of animal husbandry. They are actually working towards a technique of implanting the frozen embryos of the Red Angus cattle, which originally come from North America into Israeli domestic cattle. Remember that the animal required for the purification must be born in Israel. Ten of these red heifers will be used during the sacrifice. Nine will be used for the purification of the water, while the tenth one will be used by the coming Messiah. Additionally, the Temple Institute is preparing and training people from the Levitical lineage. These people are called Kohanim. These are people who have been tested and have undergone DNA test and certified that they are from the Aaron the priest in the book of Exodus. These people are trained in all duties involving serving as a priest such as the use of ritual vessels created for use in the third temple and practice on a newly constructed altar of burnt offering. This altar is unique because it was designed to be disassembled and quickly reassembled in its proper permanent location because the people of Israel are required to build an altar exclusively on the site of the original altar on Mount Moriah, the Temple Mount. When the time is ripe, it will be reassembled on the mount in the temple, enabling the sacrifice's service to be resumed without delay. Apart from the training of the people to serve in the Levitical order, there is another discovery and it is centered on the science of producing the Biblical crimson, as used in Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 Come now, and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. They will be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Leviticus chapter 14 verse 6 as for the living bird, he shall take it, and the cedar wood, and the scarlet, and the hyssop, and shall dip them in the living bird in the blood of the bird that was killed over the running water. Crimson refers to the red colors that come from certain dyes. The ancient Israel culture places a great importance on dyes, especially those used for sacred or ceremonial purposes. The point of a dye is that it is not only colorful but also color fast, meaning that its rich color will stick to the cloth and do not fade or wash away. This same dye will be used in the garment of the high priest, the parashit, that is, the massive curtain that separates the holy of holies from the holy place in the temple. 
and it will also be an ingredient that will be combined with ashes of the red heifer for the purification. Now the most challenging part of this project is the fact that the Muslims have the major control of the location where the temple is to be constructed, which is Mount Moriah. In other to construct the building, there must be a way of resolving the issues, which is more of political issues. However, those who understood the prophecy of Daniel 9 must know that is a future political leader, the Antichrist of the book of Revelation 13, who will one day make a deceptive covenant with the Jewish leaders, leading to the rebuilding of the Third Temple. Let us know what you think about the opening ceremony of the Third Temple, whether the building of the Temple will lead to the end of the world or that the Temple will bring redemption to the people of Israel. Whatever you think it is true about the Third Temple, let us know in the comments section. And if you enjoy the video, make sure you click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to get more videos.